preschoolers, it's Miss Alyssa here today. I'm here to do an occupational therapy session with you. I really miss seeing you guys at school, so this is a great way to keep up your fine motor skills at home. Um, I have my bins here today, one, two, and three. Um, bin number one has our hand strengthening activity. Bin number two um, is scissor skills and pre-writing and writing skills. And bin number three is a self-help uh, activity. So we're gonna start with bin number one, and today I have cups. So if you need to pause this video and go find some plastic cups, that would be great. I have big cups and I have little cups. So for little hands, if you have Dixie cups or smaller cups, that's great. But if you only have big ones, that's fine too. So I'll show you how this activity goes. Okay, what you're gonna do is you're gonna line the cups up like this. And you only need about six cups, really. Um, and we're gonna put one down in front, going down, I don't know if you can see that. And then moving left to right as fast as we can, we're gonna stack those cups. Okay, this is a great activity to encourage hand preference, crossing visual midline, visual tracking left to right, and also strengthening those muscles in the wrist and forearm for writing and cutting. So we're gonna stack on the count of three. One, two, three. Back, 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 and back. Good job. Now the other thing you can do is you can put the cups down like this. And the last cup you can hold upwards like this so that it's open on top and you have to turn the cup the other way to stack them. So ready, set, go. Stack, 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 and stack. And you can do that a couple times as a warm up for writing. Um, it's a great activity. You can even have races. That makes it even more fun to race each other. So we're all done with bin number one. And we're gonna do bin number two. So today, we're gonna practice our pre-writing shapes. We're gonna to learn to cut and trace a circle. Um, we're also gonna do lines down, so that would help as well. So you wanna make sure that in your bin, you have a marker, a pencil, glue, something round to trace, like a Tupperware lid or a Tupperware, scissors, and a straight edge. So we're gonna make the circle first. So I'm gonna grab a piece of paper. It really could be any color. This could look like a flower, but today we're gonna to make it look like a sun using yellow and orange. So on my yellow piece of paper, I'm gonna take my template or my lid and my black marker. And this is great to teach kids to use two hands together using one hand to stabilize the paper and the other hand to do the drawing or writing. So you're gonna trace around your template to make a circle, which is your pre-writing shape. Okay, and a circle is one of the very first shapes that we teach kids to cut. So this is a great activity for kids who are just starting out learning shapes, learning to cut shapes. And sometimes I'll draw a little arrow at the bottom of the paper so the kids know where to cut into the paper to get to the shape. Now we're gonna get our scissors, and before we even start cutting paper, we're gonna practice um, getting our fingers in the hole. So you wanna put your scissors right in midline, and your child is going to pick up those scissors, so you're gonna pick up those scissors, guys, and make sure your thumb is in the little hole. And then you're gonna practice opening and closing the scissors. So open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little snip and come all the way back down. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Do not let it rip. There you go. Now you know the song. So we're gonna cut into the paper and cut out that circle and try to stay right on the line. And for kids who don't cut shapes yet, you can use a paper plate or you can pre-cut a circle for them. And there we go, we have our circle. So the next thing we're gonna do is get our straight edge. Doesn't 
have to be a ruler, just anything with a straight line, like the edge of a notebook or something like that. Um, and you're gonna get another piece of paper. Oh, we're gonna use orange this time, actually. We're gonna practice making lines down, another very important pre-writing shape. When you're um, printing the uppercase alphabet, a lot of those letters depend on being able to make lines down. So we're gonna practice lines down. So you need your marker, and you can hold the ruler for your um, child to just draw a straight line down, and then move the ruler over, and just do a couple more lines. You can go all the way across the paper, but you might not need all of those lines. I think we're gonna need at least six or eight to make our sun. All right. And when you guys are done, you can count how many stripes you have. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, we're gonna cut those stripes. Make sure you're holding your scissors, thumbs up. And you don't wanna cut too fast, guys, because that's gonna make the paper rip. Okay, we really wanna cut slow and coordinate our shoulder elevation with the open and closed pattern of the hand. take my marker and I'm going to make dots so I know where to put glue going around my circle. So we have seven. So we're going to make seven dots or X's. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, I'm going to make eight because it looks like with this size circle, we need eight stripes. So I'm going to cut one more stripe. And you can do the same thing if you find out that you need an extra one to go all the way around your circle. All right, now we're gonna put glue on the X's. So we can count when we do all this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. And counting is nice because it always creates a definite endpoint to our task. All right, then we're going to take the end of our stripe and push down as hard as we can to get those stripes to stick on the yellow circle. And we're going to go all the way around doing that. I have four more. One. I really want to make them stick. Two, three, and four. And you might wanna give your sun just a little time to dry before you flip it over because sometimes those stripes like to come off because the glue isn't dry yet. So we're just gonna wait or we can push down a couple times and make them stick. And then we're gonna slowly turn it over. And when you're done, the front should look like this. All right, now we need our pencil. So you should have a pencil in your bin and you're gonna hold that pencil sideways. And what you're gonna do is roll up the strip of paper using the pencil. And you can see we're using our writing fingers to do that. We wouldn't be able to use our, our, all of our fingers or our whole hand. So we're really practicing using the, the radial side of the hand our writing fingers and our cutting fingers. So that's why we do this task. So this might take a little while. Curling, so we can go halfway up or all the way. We just wanna put a little curl in our sun rays. And hopefully we'll see the sun here in Cleveland soon. I know today it's Friday and it's snowing. Right. 
going. I cannot believe it's snowing in the middle of April. So we're gonna bring some sunshine into the world. We have three more. Hope you guys are working hard at home, making the sun with me. And you can see we're really giving our fingers some exercise doing this. And this will be our craft for next week too. So you'll get to make this with me as well. So you might have two suns or two flowers. And when you slide that pencil out, you just kind of want to pull it out sideways instead of unrolling it. That, that way you get a nice curl in your sun ray. And then what you can do is you can make eyes. So you can make any kind of eyes you want. I'm going to make open eyes on this one. Give them a little eyebrow. And sometimes girls like to make eyelashes to make it a girl sun. And when you're all done making a face, which is great for body awareness and, and learning your eyes, nose, mouth, ears, um, all those body parts for preschoolers, it's a great activity. So this is one sun, and then you can make a sun that looks like you're sleeping too. That was my first sun. So I hope you guys had fun doing this today. We're gonna jump to box number three. We're all done with box number two. That was hard work. So let's shake out our hands and get ready to do some snapping. Shake out your hands, take a break, pause the video if you need to. You can always separate these three different activities and watch them at different times. So today, preschoolers, we're going to work on snapping. And that is something that a lot of you kids have trouble with in OT. So what you can do is get an old jacket or um, a pair of jeans that has a snap and practice lining up the snap and snapping that way. So you can see here there's a little teeny hole in one side of my snap and on the other side there's a little raised part right here. So that little raised part has to line up with the circle. Now we're going to push them together and we want to hear the pop. So you really have to use your eyes and hands to do this. Push. There goes the pop. Right? And if you can't do it up high with two hands, you can put your garment, I have a vest, flat on the table and line up the snap this way and use your thumb. That's your strongest finger to push down and snap. So listen for the pop. Good. We have two more. Pop. And last one. There you go. And there we snapped. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and a good weekend. And I hope to see you next week in our Zoom visit. And I miss you. Signing off.